Was a patent infringement committed by the New South Wales government the catalyst for the demise of Australia's most influential feminist publication of the late 1800s? The Dawn, published and edited by Louisa Lawson, is a publication that was at the centre of the women's suffragette movement at the turn of the century and was ultimately pivotal in women gaining the vote here in Australia. So a little on Louisa Lawson, the mother of suffrage in New South Wales, as so she was introduced to the New South Wales Parliament. Louisa was uh, very instrumental in the suffragette movement here in Australia, uh, forming a, a publication that we'll speak about later in greater detail called The Dawn. Now, I uh, wanted to mention that um, during the time at Urinderry when she was raising Henry and uh, his siblings, she was running the local post office. And uh, during that time, she managed to develop a really innovative belt buckle uh, fastener for the mailbag. Uh, this was such an innovative design that she attained a patent for it. Later in life, uh, people uh, basically infringed on that patent and she took them to court. Uh, from my cursory research so far, it, uh, uh, these patent infringements appear to have occurred around the time of the demise of the Dawn publication itself. Uh, Louisa was running into financial troubles and um, the, uh, I believe that the, uh, the final nail in the coffin, so to speak, was defending this patent uh, case. Here's a rather revealing article from the Sydney Mail dated Wednesday the 2nd of November 1927. In the farewell issue of The Dawn, July 1905, the mother of Henry Lawson writes, Mrs Lawson recently had a lawsuit with the Government of New South Wales in connection with a device for closing and securing mailbags invented by her. She was unsuccessful and this and her failing health had compelled her to close down on the Little Monthly. Her valedictory article contained this sentence, death, madness and financial ruin have overtaken many connected in this smothered up case. And Mrs. Lawson's existence has been made almost unendurable, overshadowed as she is by detectives, slanderers and persecutors of the vilest type. Uh, just an interesting uh, connection in the story. <laughs>